Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, May 12, 2024. May God be with you today and may His Spirit guide you. And I pray that as you go throughout the day that you will experience the love of your Father in heaven. Our reading today comes to us from Revelation chapter 1, reading from verse 1 to 3. And it says, The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto him to shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his words of revelation, which he give unto us to keep us informed of what he is doing. Now it states that this is the revelation of whom? Of Jesus Christ. Which was what? Gave to who? The same Jesus Christ. By whom? By God. And what? He is showing the things that will shortly come to pass. And then he, he sent it by whom? The angel. Or he said that he signified it by his angel. And sent it to John. So who, so who are the persons here that are identified? You have God the Father. You have Jesus the Son. You have the messenger, which is the angel. And you have John, who is the scribe. Scribe here means the person who will write down what the angel is informing him about. No. What I know about God is that God never do anything without informing people or informing his church. And that is why the book of Revelation and the book of Daniel, they are so important. Not only those two books, all the Bible from Genesis to Revelation testify of God's goodness and it speak to what he's doing and how he's doing it and he gives direction in what is all about and so it says that this is a revelation of the things that are going to take place so this is a final leg of the race and so god is showing his people what he's about to do what will happen how he is going to take care of everything. And so John is here to bear the record from God. This is the testimony of Jesus. So it is speaking about Jesus. Speaking about his love, his authority, his power and his deliverance for his people. And also identify the gravity of sin and the consequences of sin and so that is why verse 3 said blessed is he that read it that they may what hear the word of this prophecy so it's not just to read it but we need to what we need to hear the word that is being given to us and not only to hear but we, we need to do what? Keep. We need to do. We need to practice. We need to make these things or these principles, this information, we need to make them now a part of our daily lives. Because what? It is important that we understand that everything that we'll, we do henceforth from this point is going to contribute to how we are treated at the end what do i mean if you follow 
the principles of God. If you are obedient and if you do the things that he says that you and I must do, then the things that are written here in Revelation and all that will come upon the wicked, they won't affect those who are faithful and obedient, those who keep the things, those who follow the instructions of this book. And not just Revelation as I stated earlier, but the entire Bible. Because the entire Bible is the revelation of Jesus. It is all about Jesus. It is Jesus. And so God is just about to wrap up everything now. And that is why he is giving us this extra information to keep us in the light. So that we are not deceived and so that we are not drawn away by our own lust and drawn away by deception so that we will always know what is happening we will always be in the light because as it states that if we keep these things which are written and if we are obedient then the things that are written in this book as i said they won't affect us negatively but what we will receive the reward of God's love in the end and as it, so may we read may we be informed may we be encouraged and may we continue to be faithful because Jesus will soon come amen God bless you and God keep you faithful amen